This video is for hockey players who have little to no knowledge of what hockey stick kick point is. I didn't know what kick point was until a couple few years ago and once I did gain some knowledge it's helped me choose sticks that better fit my shooting style and has definitely improved my shots. After watching this video hopefully you'll be able to better determine what type of kick point may be best for you and your shooting style and in turn help take your shot and your overall on ice performance to the next level. We'll also match up kick points with some name brand sticks to help make it easier for you to find your perfect hockey stick. There are many other features of hockey sticks such as stick flex, blade pattern, blade lie, shaft taper, stick height, what periodic table elements were used in the construction of the stick. What you talking about, well, not that one. However, we'll stick to what some consider one of the most important aspects of a hockey stick. The, the kick point. point. So what is kick point? The kick point of a hockey stick can be defined as where the hockey stick flexes or kicks the most when shooting, or more technically, the inflection point where the maximum stored energy is released. Mm -hmm. Hockey stick kick points come in a variety of flavors, low, mid, high, and hybrid. Let's go over each one. Low kick means the kick point is towards the bottom of the shaft of the hockey stick. In general, a low kick can be beneficial in getting quick snap and wrist shots off as the energy transfers closer to the puck. The further the kick point is away from the ice, the longer the load energy transfer. If you don't raise your stick very high off the ice when shooting and rely on a quick release and getting the puck off the blade as fast as possible, a low kick stick may be a good option for you. Some examples of hockey sticks with low kick points are the Bauer Vapor, CCM Ribcore, Warrior Covert, True Hazardous, and the Sherwood Wrecker. The mid kick, as you may have guessed, flexes most in the middle of the shaft. With a kick more towards the middle of the stick, you can get more power out of your shot, but may sacrifice a bit on quickness as compared to the low kick stick. This type of stick can favor shooters who hold their sticks with their bottom hand more towards the middle of the stick while shooting, as opposed to having their bottom hand higher on the stick. Additionally, it can benefit shooters who raise their stick off the ice while shooting. In other words, those who take slap shots, half slappers, or wind-up snappers. Some examples of hockey sticks with mid-kick points are the Bauer Nexus, CCM Tax, Warrior Alpha, and True Catalyst. A high kick point allows for more loadability and energy transfer into a shot. It can take a little longer to get a shot off, but the trade-off is a more powerful shot. This higher kick would tend to benefit the player who takes the big wind-up, booming slap shots, or even longer, more powerful wind-up wristers or snappers. It doesn't seem like there are many high kick point sticks on the market today. An example of a high kick point hockey stick is the Bauer Supreme. Hybrid sticks are said to be somewhat of a combo between low and mid kick points, giving the shooter versatility in taking those quicker shots, as well as providing power with bigger windups. Some say hybrids are most closely comparable to mid kick point sticks, but optimized for most any type of shot. I've also seen hybrid sticks defined as a stick that flexes where the lower hand is during a shot. A couple of examples of hockey sticks with hybrid kick points are the CCM Jet Speed and Sherwood Code Sticks. So how can you determine what kick point and stick is right for you? I'd surmise that a lot of beer league hockey players and maybe parents of young hockey players don't even know what kick point is or consider it when purchasing a stick. I know within my circle of hockey players, most probably don't know what kick point is. At least we never even talk about it. The exception is the higher level A or more competitive players, but for many, I don't think it's a consideration. My best recommendation for beginners or someone lacking knowledge in hockey stick complexities is to try and find an experienced hockey player for advice. Obviously, right? And talk about what types of shots you consistently take and what stick kick points and other features may be good options to help maximize your shots. Even better, experiment with 
different kick point hockey sticks on the ice if possible. You may discover you have a shot you never knew you had. This was my case when I tried a hybrid stick and it seemed so effortless to get quick snappers and wristers off with a lot more power than I expected. I'm a defenseman and I take a lot of slap shots, but I have found that I can get quick snappers and wrist shots off with a lot of power and have been doing that more. And they're more accurate too. So just more shots in the toolbox. To experiment with different sticks, you may want to check out your local hockey shop to see if they have any sticks you can test out. And if that's not possible, you may want to consider refurbished or pro blackout sticks as lower cost options. I did videos on both refurbished and pro blackout hockey sticks. I have links to those videos in the description below if you'd like to check those out. I also put links to the hockey sticks mentioned in this video in the description below and organize them by the respective kick points. So check those out if you're interested. I intended to keep this video somewhat general since I'm not certified and licensed in kick pointology, but I certainly encourage any thoughts you have about kick points or other aspects of hockey stick performance that'll be helpful to any hockey players trying to improve their passing and shots. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss more informative and cool videos for hockey junkies. Stay junky, my friends.